it, it just kind of worked out that way. Um, I've never been, I've never not wanted to do a Christmas project. It was just, uh, just the timing of it. It sort of all worked out. It's been over half a decade since Canadian singing sensation Glenn Lewis released any new music, but he blessed the ears of music lovers around the world with two tracks, both Christmas classics with his own take on them. I'll be home for Christmas. It was so funny because we were recording these in like August and it's like blazing hot outside, but everybody was like, man, I'm already ready for Christmas, man. I need my hot chocolate. I need my, it was pretty funny though. Speaking with it being like so hot there, did you put Christmas things in the studio? Like were you dressed as Santa? Yeah. Well, no, it didn't go that far. <laughs> I mean, you know, I got, you know, sometimes, uh, you know, like just to set the flow or whatever, you know, I might listen to the, the records themselves or just listen to, um, just Christmas music in general, like a lot of a lot of favorites, like you know, whether it's like uh, I was I, funny enough, there was for a split second I was kind of thinking about touching Paul McCartney's um, "It's Simply Having a Wonderful Christmas Time." I was thinking about it for a second, and then I was like, "Nah, nah I'm cool." You know who isn't cool? Me. Thankfully, the camera wasn't on me when he just started to sing like that because it would have looked like this. That was awesome. <laughs> it's been 10 years since he released his last solo project, so, you know, I have to ask, is he planning on releasing an album again? Well, uh, I, I have been recording and, and, you know, putting some stuff together, so looking to, uh, you know, release some things, you know, s like, soon, you know, in, in, in the later parts of, you know, 2024. The Grammy-nominated artist released his first single back in 1997, but made international music charts with the release of his single, Don't You Forget It, in 2001. Don't you forget hey, baby. A lot of you may recognize him from this famous cameo in the movie Made in Manhattan, which was a global success. TV, how many times have you seen Main in Manhattan and saw oh. you with that cameo? <laughs> oh man, too many to count. And yeah. listen, I'm so grateful to J Lo for bringing me on that. And even just the story behind it, meeting her at like this uh, pre Grammy party, and she was just like, You, I want you in my movie. I was like, And I'll be there. Yeah, no big deal. J Lo handpicked him to be in the movie. It, man, it was just, it was a lot of fun, and just that song has resonated with so many people all over it. The amount of messages I get of people like, ooh, you gotta sing that at my wedding. Oh, it's a lot, but love the love. So. For City News, I'm Lindsay Dunn.